Previously, I'm sure that is uh, Peter Woods. He had one stolen, and it looks suspiciously similar. The person selling, or the person who has entered this into the auction, is called Gary Turner. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Letton Farm. It's really not a good start to the day. Um, but yes, the, the ZZ tractor has been taken because of the link between Gary Turner, that tractor, and the rider mower that was put into the auction uh, last weekend. Now, uh, the police did investigate the mower, and they have pretty much concluded that it is the mower that was stolen from Peter Wood, and Peter Wood has had some kind of involvement uh, with the identifying of it as well. So, yeah, I, Gary Turner put it in the auction. Gary Turner is now under investigation for it, so that's why they're taking the tractor, uh, because they want to know, basically, if that one is stolen too. Since it was found in an underground bunker, I'm not holding out too much hope. I think it might have been stolen. Uh, the police did say that it's unlikely but I'll get it back unless they can prove that it's definitely not stolen. Um, but they said I should be okay, because obviously I'm, I own a stolen tractor, which isn't exactly a good thing to be doing. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens from now, I think. I really don't know, but I have lost a tractor. Uh, luckily, I didn't pay for it. Um, I, I did just find it here, so I suppose that's why. If something's too good to be true, it probably is. Finding a tractor isn't something you do every day. Anyway, yes, uh, back to the New Holland tractor. I definitely have to keep it now because obviously I've lost my, my ZZ tractor. Um, so if we can afford it, I'm going to take it over to the dealers and get the front loader frame and front loader fitted to it. Hopefully I can afford it. I know I can afford the frame, but yeah, the, the front loader itself is likely going to be quite expensive. Um, but yeah, even if I can't afford the front loader itself today, I could just, you know, save up for it and get the uh, the frame fitted anyway. Uh, so yeah, with regards to this plow on the back, I'm going to hopefully get it painted today or tomorrow. Um, I also want to change the oil on the tractor. So when we go over to the dealer in a second, I am going to buy some oil. I think, yeah, a few litres should do it. So, yep, anyway, off we go. It's a very interesting morning. Not a good one, though. An interesting bad morning. Uh, you wouldn't have thought that would be a thing, but yeah, it is possible for something to be interesting and bad. Certainly in this case. But as long as it doesn't get any worse, as long as I don't get fined for having a stolen machine. I, I really can't see why I would do, but yeah, you should never know. Uh... I didn't know that Gary Turner was stealing tractors. It might be that he, he wasn't stealing tractors. That could be his own machine that he left. And maybe he didn't actually steal the uh, the Husqvarna mower. Maybe he, would, maybe he bought it from somebody who had stolen it. I just don't know. But that's why they're investigating. And we should hopefully know something in a week. I don't know. They, they were very vague with the timing. Uh, yes, anyway. Let's go and get this thing put into the workshop and hopefully modified because I really do want to have a front loader on here. Uh, working without a front loader is going to be very tricky because I do need it for the bags. Obviously I have the bags of fertilizer and the bags of seed and also some bales. I'm going to hopefully get a different baler very soon as well. Okay, so here we are. I'll leave it with them. See how long it's going to take them to do it. Hopefully not too long. Yeah, they said it was a morning's job so 
I'm going to have to leave it with them, but they said the frame was £800 and the front loader itself was, I think they said £5,400. So I can afford it. We're going to go for it today. Uh, again, it's quite expensive, but then again, it is brand new. Okay, so there we go. Let's just come back here at lunchtime or thereabouts, possibly a bit after lunchtime, give them the time. We don't want to just put pressure on because uh, I always find that if you put pressure on, it makes people rush and then the job potentially isn't done as well. Right then, um, I've got my combine harvester here. Let's just jump over there. I still want to put a gate in here. It would be really handy to have a gate. Uh, it's currently just a barbed wire fence, but that is for another day. Yes, my combine does need to be tidied up. So uh, if we can take the header off, that would be a good start. And then we can bring it through, put it back in the yard somewhere. So we use the 135, very handy tractor for this. And yeah, that field needs to be bailed. Now that is canola straw. Uh, so that would be sold to the power stations. Now I just need to find a power station who can buy it or somebody who can buy it from me and then maybe sell it on. So yeah, even if I do get the opportunity to bail it today, chances are it will be staying in the yard for some time. Uh, the other thing which I'd really like to do is get a price for my bale trailer and the baler itself and see if we can actually get another quadrant baler or something for the same price as what we sell the two for. That would be good, but I think it's fairly unlikely. Then again, it's a trailer and a baler. You should be able to swap it for just a baler. You would hope, but it's going to come down to the age and the condition of the uh, the new baler which we'll be getting. I say new, I mean new to us. Okay, PTO. And that should be good. There we go. Okay. Right, so we'll put this into the yard. We have no more harvesting to do, but we do have to get this field turned around. And also the field which was the sugar bees, that's all finished with, uh, so I need to get that cultivated, in fact I might use the grubber, um, yeah you know the cultivated thing over here, over in that field today. Uh, it would mean using the Massey Ferguson which is nice because I haven't used it very much yet, and I didn't buy the oil, I did not buy the oil. In that case we'll get the oil when we get the tractor back, I could bring them up actually and put the order in. Yeah, uh, this isn't good. This is this is messy. I think... Uh, well, I, I really want to get rid of this plough. This plough just wants to be... Well, I might just sell it, actually. If I take a photo... Then I can show those at the dealership. I might go back over there now, actually, to get the oil and get a price on that. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I know I am jumping through the jobs, but this is how we make money. Let's just go and retrieve the header first. Oh, they're actually running low on water. I do need to sort their water out. Right then. Yeah, so I think that section of the yard needs to be tidied up. I will just put this outside to begin with. And then hopefully later we'll have a bit more space to put everything away properly. I'll just put it here. Sheep, do not start nibbling everything to do with my header. Yes. Um, right, <laughs> that would do. Uh, shall we take the tractor? Probably, uh, should I? Yes, no. No, I won't. I'm going to walk. Let's save some fuel. Here we are. You can see they've moved the tractor to the workshop. Um, but yeah, oil, I think, probably, should we go with 5 litres? Would that be enough? We'll, we'll get 5 litres. And yes, I will show them the photo. Right, uh, what was that, £45 for the oil, uh, for 5 litres, that's, that's an okay price. And yeah, they did give me a price on the plough, they said they'd give me 300 for it. So that would be a profit of £100 for doing absolutely nothing at all. And really, what I'd have to do is uh, paint it, I'd have to buy the paint, and then do a really decent job, otherwise it's going to devalue it, I would have thought. So I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to sell it, I'm going to bring it to them in a minute. And profit £100 for doing absolutely nothing but you know buying it in the first place and just transporting it back to the farm and over to here again. Not a huge profit but for what it is and for the, the well non-existent work that was put into it uh, that's that's well that's very good yeah that's good going so I'll change it all obviously when we get the tractor back but for now we'll get the Massey Ferguson and take the plow over to the dealer and I think really £300 from them is a is a good offer 
I was expecting him to say something like 50 pounds or 100 because I only paid 200. So yeah, that's good. 100 pounds to go towards the new bailer. I suppose, yeah, that's the other thing I should do. Get a price on the trailer and bailer. Hmm. Probably not going to be very impressive. Let's just climb the gate. Saves openings every time. Uh, right. Okay, so, yeah. Combine, let's just let's just get the combine shifted. It is really in the way. I might even put it down there, because there is a bit more space down there. And then I really do want to get to work with the Massey Ferguson in that field over there. What was the sugar beet field? This is going to be tight. Very tight. Well, I'll just put it there for now. Should do fine. Right then. Our new tractor. And hopefully this one isn't stolen. It certainly shouldn't be, because obviously I have just bought it from an auction. So hopefully it's all good. It is in very good condition. Okay, there we go. I think we're all good. That's going to be transported on the road. I think. Yep, that's in the transport position. So off we go. It does sway around though. I've really noticed it sways. It's quite a difficult thing to actually tow behind here. Um, I'm probably doing it wrong. I'm really inexperienced with old equipment like that. It probably should be transported on a trailer, really. I do have a trailer. But then again, it's only about 100 yards up the road. Sheep, do not escape through the gate. I trust you, sheep. Right. So I'll just put it with their other machines and just let them know. I suppose what we could do, if they're happy to do it, is just knock the £100... Well, no, £300 off the bill. Yes, £100 profit. I mustn't let it go for £100. That would be a big mistake. Yeah, try and take them... To uh, try and get them to take three hundred pounds off the uh, the overall front loader price. Okay, just skidding into position here. Park it over here, and then we'll see if they've actually finished the front loader. But like I said, I'm not going to put pressure on. Should be able to physically see. There we go. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's done. So yeah, we'll head back. I'll go and do a bit of work, and we'll return here. That's probably 1.30ish. Sort out the money for the plough. And also the money for the front loader. Well, it's cleared a tiny bit of space. At least there is now space for the combine when we are ready to move it again. Um, but yes, for now, enough of the tidying up. We must go and do some work. Because this field has not had a crop in it for some time. And the grass field you see behind us as well, that needs to be cut again. That's also been a while since the previous cut. It might be worth fertilizer spreading it first. Possibly. Um, but ideally, I would quite like to cut and bale that once we have a new baler. Because although this baler is very nice, the bales are very small. You get a lot of them, and it's quite a lot of work moving them around. Whereas we could do it with a front loader tractor. Which is, of course, why I'm putting, what would it be, almost £6,000 into, you know, that front loader setup. So, yeah, it would make sense to use a tractor. If only I had the resale value of the Zeta. Hmm. It's disappointing because I was actually going to sell it. It's probably a good job that I didn't because I might have been in serious trouble. I've already done this section here, which is good. That saves a bit of time. So we're just going to continue from where we left off. Just breaks up the ground a bit. It should be really fertile land now because it's had all of the uh, the greenery from the sugar beet, all the leaves from the sugar beet, uh, all mulched in, and hopefully that puts a bit of nutrients back into the soil. So yeah, like I say, we'll probably go back to the dealership around 1:32 o'clock and get all that sorted out. But hopefully I can get this done before then, before goes to plan. It's not a huge area. So it shouldn't be too difficult to do that.
that's a fair chunk of it done. Uh, not quite as much as I was expecting. I think it's really not the working width of the machine, but just the speed you have to go. Because uh, you are pulling a, a big heavy thing through the ground. Anyway, yeah, if we just turn the engine off and have a good wander over to the, the uh, dealership, it should now be ready, hopefully. They did say midday, it is six minutes past two, so yeah, should be more than ready. Right, well I've just sorted out the money, and I've got an invoice, and it's actually itemised everything. Uh, yes, we only have £4,086 left. The reason for this is because the bracket was £800, the front loader was £5,400. Uh, to colour match the front loader, it was another £200. I didn't request it, but it does look good. And then, of course, we got given £300 for the plough, which, yeah, it's still over there. So there it is. I've got a front loader for the New Holland. I was just wondering if the uh, clearance was okay, but I think it is with the weight. Um, although, yeah, you'd probably want to have weight on the back rather than the front. Let's just see if it all works. Seems very good. Well, I suppose it's all been tested. Very nice. Uh, so, yeah, we don't actually have any implements at all yet, but we don't need anything yet. It's just I wanted to get it fitted. So I was confident that we had a tractor with a front loader for when we needed it. I can just come back here and get an attachment whenever I feel like it. Uh, although, yes, it's going to be quite expensive, no doubt. I think probably the only thing we're going to be buying is a bucket and a bell spike. We might get a pallet fork, because uh, we do have to sell the wool. Yeah, that's a good point. We have to sell the wool. Okay, we might be buying everything then, possibly. It just depends. Uh, we probably won't get things like a wrapped silage bell grab because we're probably not going to be doing silage bells anyway um, but yeah bell spike pallet fork and buckets possibly a grapple instead of a bucket not too sure well bucket grapple that sort of thing like we had for the Massey Ferguson uh, right so here we are I think that looks very good it's a shame my uh, bank account balance is now so empty so that's probably uh, written out the uh, yeah, the chance of actually being able to afford another baler. Oh well. Uh, we can always save up for it and attempt to buy a baler in a few days' time. Right, so I think for the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to be back in the 390T, finishing off this field because we do just have the small section left. Almost finished, this tiny piece is left, so we'll just get that done, but this tractor has performed really well. I'm so pleased that I bought this tractor, and we should probably think about um, yeah, doing an oil change on here as well. Now I've got the new Holland back, I should do that. Right, there we go. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be enough oil for this tractor and the new Holland, but we'll see. We we'll just take it back over here, and then have a walk back to the New Holland, and we'll take that back to the yard as well. I think they're pretty safe in this field, but yeah, I don't really want to just leave them out here. Okay, and yeah, back up, make sure it's space. Um, I think yeah, probably just keep this where it came from, just over here. And that should do nicely. Okay. I think it's really not too bad anyway, the oil, but because you don't know the history of something, it's always worth doing it, especially if it looks a bit of a funny colour. The uh, thing with diesel engines is the oil can go dark very quickly, um, but yeah, since it is new to me, I'm going to get it done. So it's just going to be a very fast job, hopefully, in the workshop. So I'll see you when it's done and let you know how it went. Oh, right, there we go. Um, yes, it's done. Pretty easy. Uh, I'm pleased that I changed it because the oil which came out wasn't that good. Uh, at least it didn't look very good. So that's great. And you can see it's running again now. So uh, we now have fresh oil in the new Holland tractor. 
But that's it for today though, thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.